Welcome back. My name is Sydney and I'm the coordinator of Humane Education here at the Ottawa Humane Society. All my friends, especially the furry and feathered ones, are super excited to see everyone back. We're going to have a great day filled with animal activities, some cute animal stories, and some more information about the great work that we do here at the OHS. And just a refresher, this is my dog Bo. He's a registered OHS program dog and he's going to be my co-host. Welcome to the Shirley Kearns Memorial Adoption Centre. Staff in this area work very hard to help animals find their forever homes. When families come in, we work with them to find the best pet to match their lifestyle. We have pods for both dogs and cats, several community cat rooms, a rabbitat, and a small animal room. We make sure all animals are healthy before they get adopted. We make sure they have their vaccinations, a microchip, they are spayed or neutered, and whatever else is needed to give them a happy and healthy life. We also learn more about what kind of homes our animals need by giving them a behavioral assessment before being placed for adoption. Did you know we also work with pet stores and vet clinics in our community and they adopt cats and small animals for us? This gives us more room here at the Shirley Kearns Memorial Adoption Center to adopt out even more animals. Each animal has a profile card that shares more information about each animal available for adoption. This includes their photo, name, breed, species, birth date, behavior, and a short description of their activity level. Knowing more about what the animal needs helps future owners make the right match when picking an animal to welcome into their family. Woof, woof. The next part is my favorite. We have greeting rooms where people can visit with the pet they want to adopt. We tell them all about what it will be like to have a new animal in their home, and they can bring in their own pets to see if they get along well with the pet they want to adopt. Oh, I sure hope these two kitties are getting adopted today. In addition to dogs and cats, a variety of small animals, including dagoos, hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, skinny pigs, chinchillas, mice, birds, and rabbits are also adopted into new homes. Most small animals are housed in this room while waiting for their adopted families. This is one of our larger community cat rooms where multiple cats can live together. Check out this super cool outdoor catio where the cats can go outside to the screened in porch to get some fresh air during the warmer months. Here is our other larger community cat room. We also have eight different cat condos where cats are housed together. When we're open to the public, visitors, like you, are welcome to come in and snuggle with our adoptable cats. Who knows, maybe you'll find the perfect fit for your family. Welcome to our Rabbitat. This is where we house some of the larger rabbits that are looking for their forever homes. Like dogs and cats, rabbits are also spayed or neutered before being placed for adoption. This is where our amazing adoption team works. Our team is always ready and waiting to help families find their perfect match. Let's check out some recent adoption success stories. Wow, thanks to so many wonderful families looking to adopt, we were able to find so many animals their forever home. We saw so many cool animals here today. Now that you know all about the different animals that can be adopted, we have a challenge for you and your family. We are challenging you and your family to go on a nature walk and complete our OHS animal scavenger hunt. See how many animals you can find in your neighborhood. Check them off as you go. If you see more than one, be sure to write the total number you see. Be sure to share a photo of yourself holding up your checked off list with us on social media. We're so excited to see all the fun photos of you exploring. Last but not least, let's learn about our animal of the day. We're going to play a little game. Here are three fun facts about our animal of the day. Can you guess what it is? They live in burrows underground during the day. They have large cheeks where they carry their food. They do not have good eyesight and are colorblind. What am I? Hamster. Did you guess it right? Thank you so much for joining us today. I think we had a pretty great day. The next time you and your family are looking to adopt an animal, please check us out at the OHS. We would love to help you find your perfect match. And be sure to teach your family and friends our important motto, adopt, don't shop. Have a great day, guys.